Guys, it's Fonzie here with DipYourCar.com. Now, if you've ever used white Plasti Dip or white Rubber Dip S to do one of your projects or to do a whole car, you've realized a couple things. One is the white Plasti Dip or Rubber Dip S seems to be a little bit thinner, it seems to be a little more translucent, and doesn't seem to cover quite as well as some of the other colors. Now, there are reasons for that, specifically with how the product is made up and some binders and pigments and stuff. Now, if you want specifics on that, you can contact Plasti Dip uh, and they'll explain it to you a little bit better. However, what I'm concerned with right now is making sure you guys can get the best results and the best coverage possible using the white product. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna walk you through a project. I've got a car hood and on half of the hood, we've just cleaned it. It's just regular paint and regular clear coat. On the other half of the hood, I put down two layers of gunmetal rubber dip S. Now, there's a reason why we picked gunmetal. The first is that light gray is used in the automotive painting industry for primers and for base coats all the time. So it seems to work really well. The second reason is gunmetal gray, along with some of the other colors, cover extremely well. I mean, two coats of gunmetal gray covers like a blanket, can't see anything underneath it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split that hood in half and after we've got clear coat on one side and gunmetal gray on the other, I'm gonna put a full coat of white rubber dip S over the entire hood so that you can see the behavioral differences between the side that doesn't have any um, gunmetal underneath it and the side that does already have a gunmetal base coat. Now, as far as using white rubber dip S, I've used it before a ton of times, people use it all the time. You can get great results with it, but you have to adjust the way that you apply the product. You have to put it on lighter, you have to put it on um, basically less at a time and moving the gun faster because if you let it build up because it's thinner it'll droop and it'll sag down the car so you can't shoot the white the same that you can shoot black or gunmetal or navy blue for example so I'm gonna get to the project now we're gonna show you the difference when you put the white rubber dip vest over the side that's got nothing versus the side that's got the gunmetal gray base coat and we'll see what the differences are Okay, now after the first coat, it's very easy to see the difference um, between the behavior of the white rubber dip S on the side that didn't have anything underneath it, just regular clear coat and paint, versus the behavior of the rubber dip S when it had two coats of gunmetal gray as almost a primer. Now, I shot this white exactly as I would any of the standard colors, black, gunmetal, blue, any of the colors that cover really well. Um, I could have shot the white a lot lighter and avoided all the sagging and the drooping of the paint. But the point of the demonstration is, if the car has one or two coats of gunmetal gray as a, almost a primer, you can shoot the white just as any other color and you can avoid all of this sagging and all this drooping of the paint. So essentially what that'll do is, yes, you'll have to put two coats of gunmetal gray down before the white, but you'll only need about three coats of white to get full coverage versus over here, you're looking at six, seven, sometimes eight coats of the white to get full coverage because there's nothing under, underneath there as a foundation. All right, guys, now you've seen the results versus putting down white rubber dip S or white Plasti Dip over just standard uh, paint and clear coat versus the side that had the gunmetal as a base coat. Now, essentially, you could get great results, and I've personally gotten great results just using standard white Plasti Dip or white rubber dip S without a base coat. But you have to change the way that you spray. You have to spray it from a little farther away. You can't let it build up and you can't put as much on at, uh, per coat. So essentially, if I had a car in front of me right now and I was gonna do a matte white dip job on it, I could either look at maybe between seven and nine coats of white to get a full perfect coverage, or I can drop two coats of gunmetal gray and then three or four coats of white and I'd be done and pretty much guaranteed to have solid coverage all the way through. So anytime we actually do a matte white dip job here at Dip Your Car, we do drop down now a gunmetal uh, base coat. Makes the job a heck of a lot easier. The paint doesn't run. It sits right where it needs to sit. And after the second coat, it almost looks fully covered. So I hope that this A, saves you a little bit of money so you don't have to buy quite as much product. B, saves you some time. And C, I hope that you guys get um, better results and you know full even coverage whenever you're using white Plasti Dip or white rubber dip S. And yes, of course, this does work when you're using white aerosol cans as well. Sometimes you guys will try to cover chrome or something with white and it takes a bunch of coats to, to kind of build up and get coverage. If you drop some gunmetal gray down there first, the white's gonna cover perfectly. So Fonzie from Dip Your Car, anytime we can try to save you time or money, we put these videos out there to help you guys and help the dipping trend. See you in the next video.